back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. Now, if you have missed the uh, bullish moves from Euro, British Pound, Canadian Dollars, and I forecasted them three weeks ago, and exactly turned out to play things that we thought. So the largest things have been changed. If you want to refer to that analysis, or if you want to join me in future, you can join me so on Patreon.com forward slash Elliot Wave Prince Elliot Wave Green actually. So patreon.com forward slash green. In today's video, we are going to look at uh, gold and silver. I haven't bullish on gold for a while now. And uh, if you have seen my previous analysis, uh, we have been trying to uh, consider that this is a triangle starting from that uh, top. And we are considering this as a wave 4 being a triangle. So uh, right now, I think that we have completed wave A, wave B, wave C, wave D, and wave E. I am think so we are very very close to uh, the completion of E or either we have already completed the wave E. So on a smaller time frame here on a hourly time, 4 hourly time frame we have actually completed I'm considering this whole price movement as wave 1 and starting from that top I'm considering this whole price movement as wave 2. And could that be the end of wave 2? There are a couple of possibilities we are going to discuss 2-3 alternating counts and uh, we'll see how things go. First of all, if you look at the price analysis, uh, there are a possibility that we can actually form prices uh, coming down right over here and then going up and then forming down right over here. That will be a larger uh, flat correction. It is definitely possible. Okay, We can definitely see that. That would mean that wave 2 would be ending right over here too. So this being a flat correction, this being a double zigzag correction, this being a flat correction would be completing a wave 2 or double, th double 3 structure. The other possibility is that we have completed the correction right over here too and this is the uh, wave impulsive wave and then we are going to go through the correction in that case we are looking for the price to uh, come in this way and the reason I'm giving this target is because this is going to be forming a left shoulder and a right shoulder so that's the one reason that we have wave 1 and wave 2 there's one more possibility and then this is that the impulsive wave that we have started right from this bottom is yet not complete. In that case, prices would be able to uh, cross this top resistance easily and then give us a top somewhere right over here in this range, 1841. And if it can push really stronger, this can give us uh, this range. For now, all out of all these three alternating accounts, I'm right now tipped uh, um, the probabilities are forming right now on the bearish side uh, for next couple of days or maybe one today one day and the reason I'm thinking so is let me have a look on a 15 hour uh, minute chart is that first of all we can see that the when prices went up uh, they're forming a neck right around here and we have a left shoulder right over here on 15 minute chart and it's right now reacting against that so if you can see the resistance is already happening there's a possibility that if this uh, top stays out in that case we are looking for our price target to go in eighteen hundred dollar and we all know we have spent a lot of time in coming out of the eighteen hundred uh, dollar range we just below the eighteen hundred dollar from seventeen eighty to eighteen hundred dollar we spent quite a bit of time and then we came out of it so right now um, the major problem uh, the major uh, swing is definitely bullish I'm bullish on gold and silver uh, and I'm right now uh, I've given you two or three possibilities as far as the uh, small time frame analysis is concerned. If you want to be uh, away from all these possibilities and the simplest way of trading right now is uh, gold is going to go bullish. You might want to wait for a little reaction or you might want to wait for the clear of that price. Right now, as I said, uh, it's, it's a very, very important time. Uh, not very important on a smaller time frame though. But on a larger time frame, if you zoom out a little, then we have seen an impulsive and we have seen a correction whether we are a new impulsive wave or not. That's uh, we are going to see in that next couple of days. So this is my point on um, on gold. I am going to stay uh, bearish on gold on the next couple of days or unless I will say one day at least. Uh, if the prices go beyond 1832 uh, and if they can actually reach at 1835 that will be giving me an indication that they are forming uh, that the small time frame analysis is uh, not what we're thinking on the time frame and in that case we will consider that wave 2 has completed right over here this is wave 1 and wave 2 and then we'll consider that wave, uh, wave 1 of a even smaller degree is happening so in that case that will be wave 1 of 
uh, wave three. Uh, so I'm right now as if the, uh, the price analysis is looking at us, I'm considering wave three as an expanded wave. So wave one is not expanded straightforward. Wave three is going to be expanded. We are either very close to the completion of wave one of three. And if that is not the case, and if you have not completed the correction right over here, that will actually mean right over here. That price will bring right over here. So it's a matter of probability. Uh, you white you think that you want to take a bearish side then we are very close to the top it's a good play position but uh, please keep in mind the money management rules uh, so I'm right now at that point till further reaction uh, further action the prices we won't be actively uh, be able to tell so in, in a sure way let's have a look at a at a silver chart and once again I'm considering this price movement hole as wave 1 right over here and this price movement as wave 2 so I'm considering this as wave 1 of a smaller degree and I'm considering that this is going to be wave 2 and then prices go up we'll see a uh, wave 3 of 3 in a much stronger way so let's say that wave 2 is yet not complete over, over here in that case we will see the price of silver to fall down all over here this could be forming double bottom and this is uh, equally equally possible right now as long as prices stay below this particular top uh, then we are still not exactly sure what uh, where exactly the crack the correction ended right over here so it's more likely that we have probably completed the correction right over here in this case we can consider this as wave one and this as wave two which is a flat correction and this is going to be our wave one of a smaller degree we are considering that wave three is going to be an extended wave and we probably have completed wave one of a smaller degree and this will be wave two in that case uh, we are looking for a deeper price action if you look at the previous two structures uh, we have two major areas one is uh, right over here if the prices fall right over here and then bank goes up then we'll be have a left shoulder in this area and then we'll have a right shoulder and prices going will be up if the prices come all the way down right over here too this is also a good area for the prices to fall back to right remember we are going to go through wave two so there's certainly uh, possible that wave twos are since wave twos are deep and shallow uh, i mean deep not shallow wave fours are shallow so this is what we are expecting right now uh, so i would be bearish on silver for a smaller time frame on the longer time frame uh, like on a on, uh, daily time frame or on a weekly time frame i am right now of a belief that we have completed the correction and we have completed wave one and wave two and we should be going upward so a t smaller time frame analysis is uh, necessary if you want to bet on towards the bearish side that's your choice but I've given you a couple of uh, uh, the same probability that we are actually looking at gold and silver uh, in gold so the top of the prices to cross that top is essential for this uh, bullish count to go on wish you good luck with your trading and have a good one bye bye